Hello, um, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a conjure ball. Um, this is a small one. As you can see, it's already uh, being started off. Um, just going to show you like the finished product, but I'm going to show you how to start one off, okay? Um, the reason why I like conjure balls is because they always stay on. They never turn off. Um, uh, not like with a mojo bag where you have to carry it with you and sometimes people you know don't want to usually do that and um, with a grizz grizz ball they kind of lose their potency after three months so you have to kind of replace them um, and that can kind of you know be a hassle I usually like to just do something and then forget about it and it just works so um, the one we're gonna be making today is a protection conjure ball so after it's done after you, if you decide to make one I recommend for you to bury it near a sidewalk or near a um, near your car garage so you know at least once a day you know you're gonna probably pass by it okay um, the ingredients we're gonna need is black wax um, in root work and in most um, spell crafts um, black wax um, is known as a, you know as a color of protection so that's what we're going to use for the base of our um, conjure ball. Um, the next um, seeds and herbs we're going to be using are um, the sesame seeds, they're right here. Um, marjoram, right here, nice and green. And black mustard seeds. This is a spell mix, a protection spell mix that I personally use myself that has been taught to me. Um, you can also sprinkle this around the house to protect, to protect the house as well. If you decide not to use um, a conjure ball, this mixture works really well with just protecting your house. You just mix it all together and just sprinkle it all over the place. Also, do it in a clockwise manner. Um, also, the special ingredient I'm adding into this um, conjure ball today is a little bit of good luck. And this is a um, polvo, palo, um, and it means powdered stick. Um, this is a part of my Santeria belief. Um, uh, San in Santeria, there are certain sticks that have certain magical properties. This one is called Abre Comino, and um, the properties in it are to bring you good luck and to have very good, strong content, which means, you know, anything you put your mind to, it'll kind of help you out and, you know, make you accomplish anything that, you know, may be an obstacle in your life. So what we're going to do is to start off the wax and everything is we're going to add a pinch of each ingredient. Just a little pinch just to start it off. Touch up. Yeah, and to grind up a stick was kind of a little bit of a hassle, so I only made a little bit just for this little. And let's kind of start to bubble up a little bit. And just get any kind of plate or ceramic and just start pouring some. And this um, spell, this spellcraft, does take a lot of patience, and it does take um, a lot of you kind of molding with the wax, playing with the wax, mixing it in your hands, you know, molding it with your hands, using the heat of your hands to keeping the wax going. Um, I like it because while you're doing that, you can um, have the intent, you know, protecting your house. Um, a lot of visualizations of a circle of protection around the house. Um, you know, just um, a lot of positive uh, visualizations. Um, any kind of good luck. Also, too, since we're adding the, the powder, the polvo, um, palo polvo, you can also, um, any kind of thing, any kind of project you're doing, um, anything that you want to set your mind to, you know, you can kind of be thinking, thinking about that while you're mixing it in together. See how like the consistency now, the way it kind of is molding a little. There's still a little bit of that hot wax, and yes, you are going to be working with hot wax, so it is going to kind of sting a little, but it's, um, you know, uh, I guess it's like a sacrifice for the spell, I guess, for getting a little sting from the hot wax. But there you go. Start molding it together. Now it does get a little bit messy. As you can see, it's kind of 
kind of turning out pretty good. Um, the next thing I like to do is I like to kind of put it like put some sesame seeds on it, kind of work with it a little bit. And again, it's with timing. Again, thinking of the intent of the protection. And the number one thing with making a conjure ball is you do not want it to get cold. You want it to stay warm, so don't leave it alone for too long, or it will get hard on you, and you have to kind of start all over again. Um, I've done this to where the ball's actually gotten pretty big, like about that big. Um, other people like to add things like um, hair of their own for like extra protection so the ball knows, you know, who it belongs to. Um, but yeah, just keep on messing with it and holding it. Now, if you want to start with something a little bit bigger with a bigger plate and just pour a whole bunch of wax in there and just start messing with it, um, it just pretty much, you know, just however you want to do it. But yeah, that's just, this is the way I do it. Um, so there's really there's really no wrong way to do it. The point is, is just to get as much of the herbs as you can inside the bowl of wax. I guess you could say it's kind of like kneading, kneading dough, I guess. But yeah, just press that in there. And the last um, uh, herb that you want to be layered in here or being put in here will be the black mustard seeds because they pretty much keep any kind of negativity, you know, out of your life. So that's the last one, the last herb that you want to be showing on the surface of here. So as you can see, there's some, the mustard seeds are right there. So yeah, here is a protective conjure ball. There you go. You can make it bigger if you want to, but just a little video just to show you how it started. It can come in different sizes. Um, if y'all have any questions about um, any other type of conjure balls, whether it being a love conjure ball, you want to put something of you, something of your partner in it to keep y'all binded, to keep y'all safe, or you know to keep the love going, I also can help y'all with that. Um, a, a good luck conjure ball, those are the greatest. Um, also, I even do a fairy one where I add some fairy glitter into the wax and it gets all nice and sparkly. Um, usually those people like to, you know, People like to show those off, especially the people or the customers that I know that really like fairy magic. So thank you for watching, and um, I do hope that you do make one, or maybe even use the um, protection mix I kind of told you about. Thank you, and thank you for watching, and blessed be.